Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how we can enable Copilot to do web application vulnerability testing. So stick around and we'll jump into it. There are a decent amount of open source tools out there that you can run web vulnerability assessment tests on and Nuclei is one of those popular tools. With the one of the later releases of Copilot, we have now integrated Copilot directly with Nuclei so that we can leverage Nuclei's source code under the hood to run vulnerability assessments against various websites of our choosing. What we first need to do is actually go ahead and enable our Copilot Nuclei module. Within the latest release of Copilot, I have updated the Docker Compose, so by default, um, to now include the new uh, Copilot Nuclei module container, um, which here we have also provided the image where it will be downloaded. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just copy this entry here. And on my uh, Copilot server, I'm gonna go ahead and open my Docker Compose. And I'm gonna paste this guy down here under just my Duo one. So I've got that pasted there and that's all I need to do. So I'll go ahead and save this file. And now I'll run a Docker Compose up. Of course, make sure Copilot is down. I've already brought the, the application down. So we're now going to run a Docker Compose up. And whoops, actually, I wanna do a dash D, throw it off in the background. Docker Compose up dash D to go ahead and start my Copilot application. And then you guys' instance will also be uh, pulling the Nuclei module. So Copilot will now, if I do a Docker PS, um, Copilot can now interact with the Copilot Nuclei module, which essentially holds the Nuclei repo. Uh, Nuclei also runs on Go, so that container also has Go installed as well, but you guys don't need to, to worry about that. Um, but once Copilot loads back up, which let's see if it has. On the overview page, we will now have a uh, new button here to where we can run a web vulnerability assessment. So if I select that page here, here we'll get an overview of our reports. Of course, we haven't actually ran a scan yet. So what am I gonna go ahead and do is run scan host. Here I found just this like demo test penetration site that companies use to uh, run to test uh, web application vulnerabilities and web defects against. But of course you could point this to like your client's websites or your own websites to see what they may be vulnerable to in terms of a nuclei scan. So I'll go ahead and just copy the value, uh, copy the, the domain name here. I don't need to worry about copying the HTTPS or HTTP. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw that into my uh, host uh, text box here. So I'll go ahead and hit submit. And now this is going to kick off uh, the nuclei run in the background. This is going to take a few minutes to finish up. So just be patient. You will have your results here. But of course, if I select these guys, I don't necessarily have anything yet. So I'm going to wait for a few minutes, uh, refresh the page, and then we should then see the scan results for our demo testfire.net. After refreshing here and opening up my report, um, it looks like we got a decent amount of findings against that. That's good. Uh, let's see what we can see here. It looks like some weak Cypher suites are being used. Perhaps older uh, TLS versions are being used, it looks like. Uh, Apache detects. So it looks like they might be leveraging Apache. I can also select uh, all of these to get individual reports in each of them. So it looks like Apache is the uh, web server that they're serving this website on. Um, I can get details in terms of the description of the findings, um, what the full URL here, uh, we can get the request back, uh, the response, as well as all the details that came back with the response. We also get the curl command as well that was used by Nuclei to enumerate these results. So we could build on top of this curl command if we like to, to simulate different kinds of attacks. Um, let's see, go back, I saw like a swagger. Yeah, so they got a swagger API. Um, swagger, of course, is a popular for documenting API endpoints used by web applications. And if we have to copy the full URL, let's see if we can actually ch check this guy out. So if I post that in here, if we can actually load the Swagger documentation where we could actually interact with the website directly through the Swagger documentation. Um, let's see if like get account gives us anything or if it complains. So let's see if we just do something dummy here. We do get a, that our logged in is false, so that's that's good. <laughs> here we can see possible endpoints of the website that we could attack. If I set account here, 
uh, this description here, public uh, Swagger API was detected. Uh, we're getting the response back. And here we also see the uh, the curl command that was used. They may be using some WAF of some sort. Web application firewall was detected, but now we're getting details back as to how we could uh, possibly start to attack this web application further. Now we have a quick, uh, quick and easy way from directly within Copilot to run a web vulnerability assessment against any websites, um, either externally or internally to our liking. Of course, if it is internal, then your uh, the server that's that's running Copilot would need access to that internal application. Um, there is no authentication that you could add as of now um, to maybe get a more in-depth attack. I need to honestly take a look further into that and see if that's something that we could integrate into Copilot. For now, you guys have a quick and easy way to leverage Nuclei in a popular uh, tool used for penetration testing against against web applications of your choosing. Of course, do make sure you have permission uh, before running this against uh, websites. Little disclaimer there, but uh, but yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I appreciate your time and I will see you in the next one.